war team going pretty good today good to have you guys um before we start i just want to quickly thank some followers here so uh yeah we've recently got up to uh 50 50 50 followers so that's a big benchmark uh so i pulled up my followers list i think flu vt follower number 50 so big thanks uh was here yesterday i'm gonna thank some more just real kb gaming <laughs> Big ass goldfish, uh, Isaiah's life, uh, Pro Cabiek, Solid Steel TTV, Oh Hi, Anna Wheel, yeah, Kaiju Fu, Erica Weiss, Dimension, Double O, Triple O Seven, uh, Jessa Birth, Double O, Hank is lit, Chelogs, Miniful, <laughs> great, great, great streamer by the way. So is Iga. I'm pretty sure Iga's on here too. Iga, where is Iga? I got. I'm sure you got. Uh, yeah, Chip, RDW Chip, Doctor Cake Monster. Uh, yeah, appreciate all of you. Yeah, there's Iga. Iga Komine. There you go. So, yep, appreciate all you. Oh, uh, Serenity Spider Monkey as well. Long time uh, YouTube subscriber as well. So big thanks to you. And uh, Leah Ayame. So, uh, yeah, Fred the Omega Lord. Absalon Tommy and Ghost Marine. So uh I might have missed some names. <laughs> Exodia the Smith, thanks to you as well. And Mini Death, yeah, Mini. And he's been in a lot of streams. So appreciate you, Mini, and J A Scorpion as well. So all right, but uh yeah, we've reached the fifty follower mark. Uh I just hope we continue to be you know, there's not really too many problems in this community, you know, as far as uh just being polite, being, you know, just kinda yeah, yeah. There's like that's the best part of of being a new streamer. Well, so far, you know, there's no like drama. There's no, there's no issues, and there's really no reason, no reason to have issues. You know, with like infighting, with <laughs> with that uh, where uh, Twitch chatters will get into it with each other. Nah, it's just kind of chill, man. It's chill. It's cool. It's hey, we all love Yu Gi Oh. We all like talking about Yu Gi Oh. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, 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 Yu-Gi-Oh. So, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, good transition. Let's boot up Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, shall we? <laughs> All right. And here in the background, I, obviously, I just woke up, you know, just kind of threw on the shirt. was like, nah, you know what? You know, I'm a guy. I don't have to really... Do I have to be concerned with my appearance? Maybe I should, you know... Maybe I should shave a little. What do, what do you guys think? Shave a little? Maybe. Or maybe not. I, some people like the beard. Fear the beard. James Harden. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't compare myself to James Harden. That guy styles his beard. It's professionally done. It's like smooth. It's like pro status. It's like perfect. You know. One thing I will say though. Some people like scruffy. Scruffy beard and Hey, you know, I think people like Yu-Gi-Oh more than anything. I think that's <laughs> that's what I need to focus. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel Online by Flood Mon Four. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. All right. Welcome back to ancient Egypt, a time where monsters were summoned from stone slabs and engaged in epic battles of history. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yep, pretty nice day. It's actually very windy today, you know, here in uh, Wisconsin. So, yeah, feels pretty good. Uh, it's nice and windy. It's just kind of, you know, nice. It actually feels like fall, which... Uh, Man, oh, oh, thank you, God. Like, literally, it literally, like, literally, thank you, God. It literally feels like fall. It's nice and windy. You know, the trees are blowing. It's just, the weather feels fantastic. Oh, oh, man. Oh, it feels great today. Today's going to be a good day. All right, we get the login daily. What are our dailies today? Solo, I'm not going to do for a while, let's be honest. 
Destroy a card, trap, special summon. All right, seems pretty straightforward. Let's just take the good old cash deck. And uh, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> cash Dark Magician. Well, we actually want to destroy cards, not banish them, so I will change decks. <laughs> that's so funny how last night that's what I ended with, and uh, we basically won. So uh, let's take time to cash and lock. So, there we go. Nice little pile here. Any changes I want to make? Not really, no. <laughs> I love the remove brainwashing kaiju, you know, just kind of tech. Works really well, so. Alright. Oh, right! There actually is one change I want to make. So, we got Keshtira Scareclaw. Oh, I did add it. Okay. And I put in the royal, right? Nice. Okay. I remember we got those to end the stream, actually. So that's pretty awesome. Um, do I have a third Rise Heart, actually? Let's see. Eshtira. That's a good Rise Heart. I do not. Wow. Huh. Well, that's fine, but... Oh, and this I might craft today. Eshtira at the else. Well, I think I'll try to pull this before I craft it. Yeah, this, is, this seems to be the one Ultra. I mean, everything else we're pulling pretty good. You know, we pulled... Two Scareclaw. We pulled two of the, the limited Cash Tira. We pulled two of the Field Spell. You know, yesterday I was pretty lucky. We pulled one of Rise Heart. So, yeah, these seem to be the two outliers Big Bang, Cash Tira, Big Bang, and Theosis. Now, out of these two, I'd more likely to craft Big Bang. Uh, I just like how it works. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, um, also the fact that Ogre which I have the most of, and fetch this is pretty enticing. Um, also, I could probably craft the, the third unicorn. Yeah, that's, you know, I could, you know. So, finally, I did remember today, guys. Uh, Shin Shin. Shin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the entire reason O-Lion's here. 2 plus 7 equals Shin Shin. So, now what are we going to take out for Shin Shin? I hate to do it, but you know, as cool as this card is, yeah, it's just, man, the original Dark Arm Dragon is just so... Mm. Yeah, and the fact that this card can't attack for the rest of the turn... Oh, man. Don't get me wrong. I love this card. It looks cool. You know, it's... It's variable as far as its materials, but it's got to go, man. I mean, we used it one or two streams, but there's some stuff, uh, you know, Flare Metal can do that this card can't do. So that's got to go. Shin Shin's in. Um, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So, you know, <laughs> Bang Shang Mirror. Hell yeah. All right. Anyway, let's. Uh... Mm, looks good. I'm just looking at the cards we have here. The pot of cards. Looks pretty good. I was thinking about taking Avarice out, but um, our cards won't always be banished. So, let's leave Avarice in. Alright. Cool. Alright. <laughs> I love that pot of greed. Uh, is this called an icon? Emo? I don't, I don't know. I love that pot of green. I hate this game. <laughs> you know what? Mm, I'm right there with you, brother. I'm right there with you. You know, there are some days I can't believe I'm streaming this game. Like, and you guys might have seen, like, some old episodes of Nightmare Troubadour or uh, Dawn of Destiny, whatever, where I'm just ragging on this game. Good reason. <laughs> uh, I think specifically during tier elements format. <laughs> yeah, there are some episodes I had, you know, back in July, back in uh. <laughs> well, anyway, you remember, you guys remember when tier elements was meta? Yeah, there were. <laughs> I had some uh. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, good times, good times. Ooh, banshee. Okay, interesting. They didn't activate zombie world right away. Um. Okay, though. Um, 
Well, I have a feeling extravagance will be negated, but, you know, let's just see what happens here. Uh, let's see if they negate. Let's see what six we end up banishing. This could matter quite a bit. Um, one rice, both the rice heart. So and one Shangri Era. So pretty huge there. Um, so no rice heart into Zeus this game. Also no sack, no sacking, no Draco sack. I guess we do get the two card draw though. That's kind of nice. Um, interesting. I've got a lot of uh, monster hate, but no... Uh, hmm. Oh, anyway, let's just go for Ogre. It's all Ogre now, chat. Alright, response. They should play like a trap or something. Uh, let's just grab Prep. I mean, I guess one of these, at least one of these is called by the grave. You know, that's pretty uh, pretty uh, standard. Um, let's see. You, th you see, I could go for a Rice Heart into Shangri-Era. That is, uh, or I could go for Gale and just go get the bar on the floor. Um, I feel like this can bait something. Let's go for Rise Heart to bait something here. Um, let's put it here. Mm -hmm. And then let's use Rise Heart. Let's get the uh, unicorn out the deck. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, is this going to be negated? It's not. Wow. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> I should probably just go Shangri-Era pass. Yeah. Honestly, that's what I'll do here. Um, it's kind of... You might say, like, oh, I'm missing out on damage or this or that. or No, no, no. Those three face downs haven't done anything. So I'm just going to go way over here. And, yeah, we're just going to Shangri-Era... Pass. I mean, maybe they'll solemn this. I don't know. Um, we'll see. You know. Oh, no response. Okay, we just set a prep. And um, <laughs> sure, let's set scapegoat. Uh, I mean, that's what it's here for. It's for token fodder and link climbing. You know. So get us into that mascarina. Okay, Eldritch. Ah, good old Eldritch. Yeah. So. All right, good old Eldlich. So there's Eldlich, the Golden Lord. Nicely done. And no Hakiero. So now we know what we're playing against. <laughs> I hate this game. It's so funny. Uh, let's flip up Prep Orations. Um, no, I don't think I'll use the effect now. So. All right. All right. Uh, we will use Shangri Era in the standby. So here's Era. Okay. So for Era, um, another Sanguine. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, I guess I could have used Prep there. <laughs> Take a card out of his hand. That's my bad, guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your opponent activates a trap card. That's my mistake. That's my mistake, guys. There's Doom King by either Drotch. Uh, unfortunately, he got summoned a little too late here, so... For them. Um, uh, let's see, what does Scareclaw do? Mm-hmm. Oh, not bad, not bad. Um, tier elements. This card is sent to the graveyard. Well, that uh, honestly helps them. Yeah, of either player's deck. That honestly helps them, so I'm not going to do that. Let's just bring out... Fenrir, yeah. <laughs> hey, Manny, what's going on? So, yeah, let's bring out Cash Tier of Fenrir right here. Right, we're just playing a little bit of dailies against... Uh, <laughs> hate this game. <laughs> Love the name, by the way. And like the UA Playmaker. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, Manny. Doing good. So we're up against like Eldritch, Zombie, you know, kind of turbo here. So, yep. Just kind of, uh, hope your day's going good. Uh, what is that? Oh, right. Seven Cities of Goo. Um, this lets them fuse. So that's interesting. But, uh, yeah. Do, do, do. There's a trap card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we can activate the, uh, if your opponent activates a trap card or effect, hmm. Um, 
you can look at your opponent's hand. So this should let us grab um, a card from their hand, I think. Because this is a trap card. Uh, oh, it did not. I don't know why it did not, but um, eh, it's fine. Let's just bring out Ogre in attack mode. Yeah, that's odd that it didn't uh, let us get the hand rip, but um, that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure this out, chat. Maybe maybe because it's a trap monster, it didn't... And that... Ha oh, once it resolves, I see. I don't know. Good to know. Good to know. There it is. So that's what Minnie was talking about. So there's the hand rip now. Uh, the problem is... <laughs> <laughs> they've got two um, like rank 8 so they could just Draglubion uh, OTK here and be good so let's uh, put this zone unusable, no it's Eldritch let's put this zone unusual yeah let's see if they have Draglubion, I mean if they do they basically win, so you know, there's that uh, I'm guessing this is going to, yeah, banish, so, which is pretty good. Doesn't really affect us because we have, um, yeah, we, <laughs> we have, um, would I like a cash mirror? Eh, sure, honestly, I mean, our cash deck isn't the best, and I'd like to see how the new cards work. Um, yeah, because, um, there's some interesting stuff with Tier Elements, Cash Tira, that I'm just wondering. Yeah. Yeah, it honestly sounds good, Mini. It honestly sounds really good. So, so they're fusing now. Hmm. I think the Eldritch Fusion can steal monsters, oddly enough. Um, yeah, here's the Mad Golden Lord. <laughs> I just love their username. Hate this game. <laughs> Man, there's some times where I felt like that. Can't be destroyed by a bear. Huh. Interesting. And you can tribute a oh. So if you tribute a zombie, you can steal. I see. I only use tier elements cash tier effects if I have a rise heart. Or oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Um interesting. So they're gonna Steel Finvrier, which I guess that's fine. This card's sealed. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Hmm. Contribute a zombie. Target a face up. It cannot activate. Huh. So this card doesn't negate me at all, is what you're saying. I guess Finrier's live. Hmm. Eh, no, this is fine, honestly. Let's go for this. Basically, let's force out Fenrir early, is what we're doing here. So, hmm, that's interesting. Setting a golden land. All right. Surprised they didn't Fenrir right there. <laughs> because, um, yeah, this is just going to get back... Uh, that's cute and all, but you can't activate that this turn. So this gets back Shingra Era, so you no, no, we're missing uh we're missing I forget the name of it, but it's a really important ultra rare. Um yeah, forget what the name of it is. Uh what we should do here is obviously take a unicorn. That's pretty clear. So there we go. Uh, the spell we have to um, a rise heart, yeah, because I crafted one and we pulled one, so that's not the problem. The problem is, uh, we're missing like I think one of the main deck monsters, and then um, one main deck, and then the spell i think i think yeah this there's like well there's two spells one's an attack boost we've got that one mini the other one is um yeah uh let's see here special summon and then banish oh okay <laughs> so yeah let's bring out scare claw all right defense mode 
And then we banish something from the graveyard. Um, Ogre, see it. Get to the banish zone, thank you. Now we summon Gale, because yeah, this card can be Galed and stuff, so yeah, we just Gale this. Um, down you go. That's all you need, but the UR normal spell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like we. Oh, yeah, we do have one of the field spell. We have one of the field spell, but the normal spell. Like, I think you know which one I'm talking about, Manny. It is really good. Um, let's. Ooh, should I grab bar on the floor or this? I mean, this card's unaffected, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Theosis. Yeah, Theosis. Thank you. Uh, let's get the bar on the floor with the bar on the floor. So here we go. That's the nice thing about us forcing out Fenrir there is we don't really have to worry <laughs> about, uh, yeah. So let's get the bar on the floor with the bar. Flex that royal, hell yeah. Uh, I think with this, I will destroy... Yeah, this is an Omni Negate, so... And I can run this over by... Well, can I run this over by battle? Ooh, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. I see. Um, well, in that case, what do we get rid of here? Well, we're going to attack Fenrir in that case. And then let's just get rid of the Omni Negate because that's a uh, counter. So, yeah. And, like, Fenrir, I can just attack because, like, this card we can't even destroy in battle. So, might as well just attack with uh, Baron on Fenrir. So... Pretty easy decision there. All right, and um, let's do this. Uh, what's nice is that although this card can't be destroyed, I mean, you can still negate it. So, no, 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 he already used Fenrir. So he used Fenrir. I baited him very early with the Unicorn uh, to uh, bring out Fenrir. So um, that's fine. Yeah, so. All right. And there's another Elixir. Alright. So there we go. Alright, there's Elixir once again. Uh, I could just negate that. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, true, true. Um, sure, we'll negate that. Why not? Why not? Yeah, that just keeps Eldritch in the deck. This guy's got a 60-card deck, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's just do that. Um, and by... Hmm. We could return Barone, too. Interesting. You know, because this guy's probably going to try to steal it, so... <laughs> That's actually quite interesting. I will, in a rare case, return Barone for this card. Scareclaw. <laughs> Pretty rare situation for me to do that. But uh, yeah, and with preparations, I, uh, it doesn't matter. We've got two Unicorn Banished. We can bring one out, so... Uh, oh! Oh, it's ice cream time. Uh-oh. Eldritch can't handle the uh, cash money. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we'll take a look at their deck. I mean, you know, playing Eldritch is very brave in this format. I, I respect them, really. <laughs> like, their profile name. Hate this game. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. There's some cool stuff in here. Yeah. They never saw Unizombie, you know. Okay. And we banished a Baylor Drotch right away, so, you know, uh, looks like Eldritch to me. Yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and you see, this is why I run 60 cards. People always ask me, like, hey, man, Flood, why are you running 60 cards, man? I mean, no one plays grass. <laughs> it's just like, no, their grass does nothing. <laughs> so, and yeah, they've got stuff to mill. So, there you go. <laughs> Drytron. Um, I do. I do. It's a fun time. Um, let's go to uh, make a room here. 
and I'll just click 40 over here and there we go and mini is going to show us how it's done guys I mean because honestly I don't know and there are some new cards that I just need to figure out um room details okay there you go uh let me change the title since I'm here 216 831 216 831 all right see here uh hey no problem mini take your time um i could actually fill some water real quick while you're finishing up there let's just uh and i can also edit my title and whatnot 216 we'll just click on oh yeah by the way <laughs> Appreciate it, Minnie, for uh, like all your interaction and in stream here. Uh, I, you know, honestly, it helps. And uh, yeah, we've re we've reached a benchmark. You know, fifty subscribe, fifty followers. I almost said subscribers. Darn, that's like the first time. That's the first time it slipped out. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, fifty followers. That's good. And um, yeah, appreciate you and like well, really everybody who's kind of you know been regularly coming to the stream. So. Yep, not possible without all you guys, so. And I like the general direction of the community here. Pretty, uh, pretty chill, so. Um, room. Eight, three, one. All right. Um. Put this in here. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see here. Let's click this. Done. And there we go. All right. Got it in the title now. Uh, and I will post it in ch chat here just for... Uh, do, 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 just to make things easier on myself. 216-831. All right. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. uh, okay. Uh, I love a streamer. I can just have a good, yeah, yeah. Oh, appreciate it, Manny. All right. Nice and chill. Yeah. Um, what deck will we go with? Ah, this one's fine. <laughs> All right. So I'll grab a little. Uh, Aqua, and I'll be right back. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> there we go. All right. Ready. Done now. All right. Be. I'll be right there. Right. So yeah, yeah, the new cash cards, guys. Um, I know how a rise heart works. Kind of. <laughs> um, I think it was KCS Gaming yesterday. Um, yeah, they showed me a a, a good replay where uh, <laughs> they basically ranked up into Zeus quite easily. Um, you know, for the mirror match, which that's that's pretty important. The only thing I'm not really sure of is um, Scareclaw. Um, I haven't pulled it yet, Minnie. I, you know, I think it's really good. I think once we get copies of it, I'll probably play it at two. Um, yeah, I just really like it. Uh, <laughs> someone actually had it set against me yesterday, but we uh, we feather dustered it. So, didn't really get to see, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I might even, um, I'm going to give myself like, eh, like five days to pull it, and if we don't pull it, I, I will craft one, I will craft one, so, um, well, anyway, Mindy's going to show us how it's done here, so, and what's nice about Cash Tira is that there are all sorts of unique builds, so there's the Theosis, we don't have this card. Um, target a cash, special summon a cash with a different, okay, okay, 
for the rest of this turn, you can only exceed. This is pure cash money. Okay. I actually like the secret part of this effect. If this card's banished, you can target a banished cash. Yeah, add it to your hand. That's actually uh, pretty good. You know, assuming you've got a rice heart, uh, which, you know, <laughs> you, you probably will, so. <laughs> um, rise heart, okay. All right. Rise heart's pretty good. All right, and then these two into Shangri Ira. All right, and Minnie's gonna use the Rise Heart to, I'm guessing, take out. Oh, took out Big Bang. That's interesting. Oh, if this card's banished. Oh, so does that trigger? If this card's banished, you can target one. Oh, hmm. It does trigger. I see. And then you can grab something off of Shangri Ira. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing the light. My eyes are. Wow. Okay, so not only do you get to add it to your hand, then you can special summon it. Hmm. So this is what you want to pitch. You know, because normally off of Rice Heart... I see, I see. Yeah, normally off of Rice Heart, a lot of times you guys will see me banish Unicorn. There, I have reasons for that. Number one, I only have two of them. And then number two, like, Birth is just so good <laughs> you know that um yeah beef is pretty good but uh yeah <laughs> i guess the trap card makes a lot of sense because um yeah you can, you can just you, you basically get to exceed with like one material kind of and you also get to take one of the cards you exceeded with and then just kind of put it on the field here. So, honestly, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah. yeah. I see. Let's see here. Ira is going to grab something. That's an optimal turn one, one card combo. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Yeah, Rice Heart and the Trap. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I was thinking just kind of to myself after reading the trap, I was like, ah, maybe I should put two in the deck. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think two's kind of kind of good. Um, yep. So there's that. Do 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 do. And Rice Heart's gonna mini runs too. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's good. Like I'm on the right train of thought. Uh, that's actually very good. Um, but yeah, this spell right here, uh, Cash Theosis. Yeah, we, uh, I imagine this is played at three. We haven't pulled any yet, but, uh, luckily we did pull, like, the field spell and some other stuff. Uh, ooh, that hurts. That hurts real bad. But, um, anyway, let's see here. I guess let's uh let's just play some cards, man. So we whirlwind. Uh we do this. It's normal for three. Okay, gotcha. We gale. Do, 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 do,
or were you really lucky? <laughs> um, yeah, that's always a factor. Let's see, let's do this. Mm hmm. So, Rice Heart gets a material. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. And I would assume some kind of banishing is coming here soon. Do, 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 do. I pulled every UR possible except for. Oh, the field spell, because you said so. So. Yeah, the field spell is an ultra. Also, the field spell is limited to one, uh, which is definitely very interesting. And multiple of them. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's been chained. Do, 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 do. Adds another. And multiple of them. Okay. Okay. That's honestly pretty, uh, pretty good luck. Yeah. I got nothing to say. Um, like we pulled uh, on yesterday's stream. Honestly, I thought our luck was pretty good. I didn't. Uh... Oh no, I have the spell. That's. Oh, you did get it. Okay, cool. That's good, Mini. That's good. Um, like as far as our luck on stream. Uh, well, you guys saw me open on stream, so we just kind of had like a spare thousand gems, just kind of laying around. Uh, I got no other cash cards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so um, yesterday we crafted one Arise Heart, you know, to start. Uh, we, did, like, did some dailies. We pulled ten. Uh, we pulled actually one of this, one of Tear, which is good because it's only limited to one. Then we pulled, like, one Scare Claw, and then we pulled we pulled two of the Field Spell <laughs> right away. So that's pretty lucky in my book. Um... And then later, um, you know, we got more gems just kind of doing the dailies and some duels and stuff. And then we pulled uh, <laughs> with, like, the gems from the dailies. I was just like, ah, why not? Let's buy two or three more of the new, like, you know, I wasn't expecting anything. And we pulled the second Arise Heart. So that felt pretty, pretty good. Um, overall, we got, like, yes, yeah, let's see. So we got two of the Field Spell. And then we got... Um, the Arise Heart. So that's like three Ultras right there. And I only opened, um, I only opened like 15 packs. Uh, I got enough URs for a full Gishki. Oh, wow, that's really good. And four of the Prediction Princess Ultras. I see, I see. Yeah, I heard from like not only you and Kate, uh, Kiss Gaming was also saying like, it seems like the cash cards are like, and like I'm sure you guys remember, you guys remember like super short prints. Yeah, it seems like the cash cards are kind of. I don't think there's a way to short print uh, in Master Duel, but it just feels kind of. I don't know. Yeah, so, you know that was you know, and both KCS and you and like other people have emailed me as well on Facebook, just saying like, man, it's it's rough out here. It's just, they they basically the people on Facebook. <laughs> Like, a lot of my friends have just basically been like, yeah, you might as well just craft them. <laughs> you know, whatever you need, just craft it. Uh, save your gems. Um, it's just like, yeah, I I don't know what to say. Like, my luck is pretty, um, I guess, considering we only pulled, like, 14 packs, and then we got, oh, okay, that's fair, Mini. Okay, I mean, if you got the gems to spare, then, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your, yeah, go ham, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, one thing I will say is, like, if you're free to play like me and, um, yeah, if you just, I don't know, just try a few of them. Um, if your luck is really bad with, like, the 10, because a lot of people will buy 10 at a time. But you guys saw on stream, like, all I did was buy single, just single, 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 single. Maybe your luck will be better. I don't know. I don't know. And also, like. Definitely, if you're doing the single, and you guys have seen this on stream, if I just start, if I pull like three duds in a row, dud, 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 no super, no ultra, I'll literally stop buying packs till the next day. And like, like sometimes the day you got lucky, days when you're lucky, keep buying. Days when you're not lucky, 
stop by and it's it's that simple man they like i don't know what it is but um yeah maybe try singles maybe you'll be luckier you know i know people who are who buy buy 10 and like they're extremely lucky they'll buy like 10 at a time and they'll open like 12 ultras <laughs> just like wow dog i wish i had your kind of luck and like i mean like friends irl who've done this like right in front of me they'll just be like yeah i'm just gonna buy these 10 like then you see all the shinies on the screen. You're like, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. Titanic moth. Hell yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, the people I, I've been talking to are just like, yeah, you might as well just craft. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you're free to play, yeah, just get in that solo mode and, you know, craft you the Marais heart craft you some of this and you know <laughs> hey honestly you gotta do what you gotta do man so yeah so all right um there's another era Ben rear is going to add a cash tira monster for rice heart okay that's pretty good rice heart can be special summoned uh, I'm pretty sure Zeus can be summoned at this point. Uh, smart. See, mini smart. <laughs> Same them from the event. Uh, yeah, we ended up using a few for... Uh, yeah, some secret packs and stuff. So, uh, honestly, not too bad. Bryce Hart, gonna grab a material... Do 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 do. This is gonna block a zone. But uh, one thing I will say is having two Shangri Era is very dangerous. Um, because then you block two zones at a time. So that's pretty good. Right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Despia? Uh, yeah, wait. Uh, I think we opened... Uh, let's see, the new pack... I guess that's my question, Mini. Does the new pack have any... Um, are there new branded cards? New Despia cards? It feels like there are. Or are they, like, reprinted? Um, I'm pretty sure we pulled, like, Theater yesterday. Or maybe there's, like, a secret pack. It's either, yeah, I think I'm thinking of the secret pack. Yeah, that uh, we went over. Maybe we opened one of the secret pack? I don't remember. But it feels like there's some, I don't know if Brandon got a new, okay, no new ones, but they, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, because that's interesting, because Brandon already has a secret pack. Um, but Brandon and Despy are two, <laughs> it's weird. Fallen of Albaz, Branded, and Despia, they're like intertwined archetypes, but they're technically not the same archetype. Uh, although they, they might as well be, you know. <laughs> it's like saying um, Destiny heroes and Elemental heroes are different archetypes. And it's like, yeah, technically they, they are. <laughs> but, you know, everyone plays them together. And Vision heroes, you know. <laughs> You know, everyone plays them together. So, and I guess contrast heroes are technically a sub archetype or whatever. But um, <laughs> yeah, like how Scareclaw tier and yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, basically. So, yep. Um, these zones are locked. What can we do? Well, I'll tell you what, chat. We can play a field spell. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this board looks pretty good. But the big thing is, like, I definitely see the interaction between this and, um, where is it? Oh, it got shuffled back somehow. But the trap card, yeah. Uh, I think it's Big Bang. That's <laughs> 
Inter interesting name, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and the Big Bang Trap is seems pretty good. I don't know. So, all right. Do 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 do. Oh wow! Look at that. Gale buying us a turn. Hell yeah. The whole of the attack. Hell yeah, man. Um, I guess like a good option after here, and I don't know if many runs it, but would be the flare metal. Yeah, because then uh, me so low on life, you just kind of boop or like Zeus or something. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I run flare metals because sometimes you won't always like finish someone off, and then yeah, you can just go into flare. And they gotta pay life points to do stuff, so <laughs> that's actually an interesting draw. Um doesn't really do much here, but uh all right. One thing I, I do wanna note of uh Kashtira, uh Diablosis is banned, so does it really hurt the deck? Kinda, yeah. Kinda, yeah. So yeah, exactly, Mini. It's kind of like a chain energy. If you can't pay, you can't do stuff. So, um, but yeah, Diablosis is banned. Um, I'm gonna miss Diablosis, man. There are some interesting, just kind of like deck out things you could do, and just kind of. I mean, you could. Ba I see why they banned it, though. You know, because you can kind of proc this twice. You could proc. Uh, Shangri era twice or even three times really with a single diablosis but um yeah i'm gonna miss that card big time um but still i mean there's still good stuff you can do with cash and um yeah doesn't really hurt the deck yeah yeah well like the the big thing is like in other matchups um yeah, you're gonna you're gonna wish Diablosis was there, right, but you know you can't you can't think that way. You just gotta play as is, and you know. All right. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Flare metals right here, but um, then again, like the extra deck is only, you know, so so much space. So, but yeah, that's flare metal right there. Um, yeah, appreciate it, Manny. Um, because, like, um, I did not think of that combo with Rise Heart and Big Bang. So, we'll definitely try to pull, um, yeah, this card. Let's see. So, the card Manny showed us is, I think it's this one? Yeah, I think if da -da. Player controls two or more. Okay, not that part. If this card is banished, you can target a Cash Tira Exceeds monster. Add one of your Cash Tira monsters attached to it to your hand. Then you can special summon that monster from your hand. Yeah, that's like really good. And because um, this right here, uh, yeah, can easily bring itself out. Um, to modulate it to seven during your main phase, you can banish a cash tier card. It doesn't have to be a monster. Yeah, that's like really good. And then you can take something you overlaid with, and yeah, <laughs> you can just summon it. Um, so that's, and you can recycle the effects. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So that's. Man, that's some real consistency. Yeah, and we definitely want to pull this as well. Yeah, that, that is just really helpful for the consistent, just kind of... Man, that's good. Okay, so... Yeah, maybe today... Um, I haven't really looked at my craft material. Maybe we'll craft, like, one of this and recycle that as well. Yeah. I'm thinking we craft Big Bang. I feel like I have more super rare material and they activate. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's 
See, Minnie's thinking what I'm thinking. is like, um, yeah, this can do it in the opponent's turn. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> so, I'm thinking we craft one of this. I feel like I have more extra uh, super rare material than um, ultra rare. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. A good game there, Mini. Um, activate to bring in Finrear. To... Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, right, you can activate that to bring in um, this card right here. Yeah, cast share Finrear. This card. Yeah, to like get stuff out of your way. Yeah, target a face up card. Yeah, to get stuff out of your way and then lock it up right away. Yeah, so that, that that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, honestly. So, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's all it's all good, Mini. Uh, everything I run is sixty. So <laughs> that's just you know, yeah. And it's funny because uh, we count we encountered a uh, on ranked, we encountered a grass deck like right away. And it was Eldritch of all decks, but um, uh, Odd Eyes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, not a problem. But uh, yeah, <laughs> like I, the more and more I think about it, I the more and more I like Big Bang for sure. Uh, it's just a really good card. So, alrighty. Good luck, Mini. Do -do -do -do. All right. Do 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 do. Duelist Alliance. <laughs> Good card. This is Lady Ange. Oh, short for Angel. I got it. All right. Guy Iris. And Odd Eyes Arc. Pendulum Dragon. Do, 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 do. All right. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon's out. And, yep. Can grab another Odd Eyes card from hand. Putting this in the Pendulum. I've come here for Fun Duel. Hi, Bizarre Swordsman. <laughs> Good to have you here. Welcome to the... Uh, I need to come up for a name for us. Um, the Floodwaters? I, I don't know. That doesn't sound very... Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Minnie's Mini, been teaching me how to use the new Cash Tira Big Bang as well as um, the Elsus. I'm going to lock it in. So, uh, Yeah, glad to have you. Um, are you up for a viewer duel after this uh, bizarre uh, swordsman? If so, yes, yeah, stick around. Um, yep, yeah, we will be having some more duels. Um, Butler, very good. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> I love the design of some of these cards. Ballet, yeah. Uh, normal summon. Oh, it's a foolish burial. Well, that's for, that's like really good. That's really good. Okay. Becomes the same level. Ooh, are one of these tuners? Oh, no, but you got two fives. I see what you did there, Mini. I see what you did there. All right. All right. Yeah. And go for an... Oh, one of them was a tuner. I wasn't paying attention. Kulse Angel. That's a good card. All right. So, which one of these was a tuner? I got to look. Um... Was it this? This? Something was a tuner, man. I don't know. Or it got changed into a tuner. Uh, hmm. I missed that one. Anyways, um, Butler's back. 
serving up some good content. Hell yeah. All right. And Chaos Angel has both effects here, so can't be destroyed by that battle. Synchro monsters are unaffected. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh. Ah. Uh, for this card, Synchro Summon, you can treat a. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you're right, Mini. I, uh, you know, I, I can't read. You know, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, guys, and I must admit, I, I need, I need a dictionary. You know, <laughs> um, oh, we got pressured planets. Um, let's just kaiju this before I forget how cards work. So, sorry, Chaos Angel. Um, I love you. You're a great card, but um, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that ain't that the truth. Um, uh. <laughs> I've got an interesting tech for you here, Mini. Uh, we're gonna grab this card. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. All right. I'm going to activate Birth, <clears throat> and then with Birth, I'm going to Normal Summon this card. In attack mode. Uh huh. Then I'm going to special summon this card. Uh, let's read this card. Okay, I read it. Next, I'm going to attack with exactly 300 into this card. All right, response. So I take 3,000 damage and I activate the almighty Inferno Tempest. So let's get rid of all our monsters, Mini. Deck, graveyard. Let's just get rid of everything, shall we? <laughs> Let's activate Necroface. Let's activate Necroface. Let's get rid of some more cards here, Mini. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's activate <laughs> this card. Uh, let's negate this until the end of the turn, shall we? <laughs> Let's destroy the only remaining monster on the field. And let's just pass. <laughs> Full combo, baby. We did it. We did <laughs> What is this witchcraft? <laughs> Sorry, Manny. Uh, yeah, and that's the real reason we run 60. Uh, full combo achieved, chat. <laughs> Sorry, Minnie. That one's probably going into the highlight reel. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, Minnie. Uh, well, what happened is... Um, yeah, so that's the actual strategy of this deck is you somehow draw the one of Inferno Tempest. Yeah, I took 3k or more battle damage. All monsters in both players' decks get removed from play So and graveyard. So we eliminate all the monsters. Then, uh, you know, the two Necroface just kind of go off. We've still got cards in our deck because we have 60, and many does not. So... <laughs> Alrighty, um... Uh, yes. Let's see. So, Bizarre, you are next. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, so, for Bizarre, um, what deck shall I choose? I will pick a different deck. I'm sorry, Minnie. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we pulled off that combo. But... Um... Alright, uh, what deck will I choose here? Let's just pick, uh, um, this is always a good deck. Where is it? This one. Uh, chat decides your fate. Yeah. So we'll choose this deck right here. Alright, and Swordsman's on the way. <laughs> My brain is short circuit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mini. It's, um, you know... I'm a cheater, you know, I pull up, I, I use the one of, so, 
that that doesn't count as an actual victory, you know. So it's um, I apologize um, for my behavior, but uh, all right, you copy decks, <laughs> frown face. All right, swordsman, let's do it. Let's duel here, and um, yeah, best of luck. Um, opium. Yeah, I'm sorry, Minnie. Um, let's go second. Second. All right. All right. <laughs> hmm, this hand is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Free preparation. <gasps> Are we going to see Prediction Princess? Ooh. This is good. You know, I've been waiting to evaluate this deck. And I really want to see it hand loop. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Um... Yeah, because, you know, I've played with several hand loop decks, like, uh, you know, Trish Turbo, Trish D Synchro, Silva, <laughs> Dark World Silva, maybe Gishki or me. No, this looks like Prediction Princess. Yeah, good, good. These are new cards. Um, So someone told me there are like, you know, just like Cash Tira, there are like 20... About like eh, six different builds for Prediction Princess. One can hand loop. So maybe Swordsman has that. Um, if not, there is like the control variant. So I'm really interested in all the variants. All I know about Prediction. Hmm. Oh, darn. Darn, 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 darn. That's okay, Swordsman. I imagine the hand loop stuff. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, chat. I imagine the hand loop stuff is ultra rare, ultra rare, ultra rare. I imagine you need like 20 ultra rare. <laughs> Cause Master Duel is not gonna make it easy to hand loop, right? I mean that that just makes sense. That just makes sense, you know. So however, there are other variants of like control and ooh, flip. Okay, so the flip any number of face to oh. You can special summon one flip monster from your deck. I mean, this royal rare is sick, bro. Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And, like, Swordsman already has a royal. And these cards have been out for how long? Uh, Two days? <laughs> I mean, this looks uh, baller, yo. Look at that. Look at that royal. Um... Okay, so both of these are ultra. All right. And that is Guard Dog. Nice, good doggo. So, for those of you who don't know, this card's been around since mm, 2007. I pulled the other UR about four times. Oh, okay. But yeah, this card's been around. That's pretty good, honestly, Mini. Uh, since about 2007. And, uh,. <laughs> Very simple. Flip. Your opponent cannot special summon for the rest of the turn. Pretty good, really. Um, there are some decks where Guard Dog doesn't really, you know, like Flu or, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, where it doesn't really, you know, do anything. But this is a pretty good lock. Um, this adds a Prediction Princess plus a Ritual spell. I'm pretty sure this lets you flip up everything, right? Quick effects. Oh, no, it lets you target one. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one. Flip any number of face down, face up. And this one lets you flip one to face down. So, basically, this is going to get its flip effect again. Guard Dog is online. This searches for a ritual spell and a monster. All very good. And we can't special summon. So, not too bad. You know, I I was a little too hard on Prediction Princess yesterday. You know what? This ain't too bad, you know? Special summon lock. 
add ritual stuff for next turn and grab another flippy boy or girl i should say from the deck not too bad not too bad and there's pot of the forbidden which reads pot of greed raigeki forceful century or uh giant true nade <laughs> so you know what i tell you what chat i was a little too hard on prediction princess yesterday this deck ain't so bad it's really not um Let's summon the almighty Mon Larvis. This is a further step in the evolutionary chain. Yeah, yeah. So uh, watch out for that, swordsman. What you gonna do about that? And we will go to battle. And I will attack the almighty guard dog. All right. <laughs> I end my turn. Now, yeah, this deck ain't so bad, man. It, it's really not. Um... Yeah, it's really not. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Also, this is protection, right? Um, do, do, do. Your opponent cannot target ritual monsters with card effect. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And they can't be destroyed. Ooh. Okay, so Biblio Muse, which I'm guessing that's how you say that. <laughs> A combination of French and... Uh, yeah, that's really good. Also, all of these are fairies, so uh, Valhalla, I imagine, is run in this deck. Um, maybe. Um, if nothing else, just to give your stuff free protection. Uh, there's Pot of Forbidden, and now they can... Swordsman can Pot of Greed twice. They can Giant True Nade twice. They can Raigeki twice, which is sometimes necessary. You know, a lot of cards have floating these days. And sometimes you do need to Raigeki twice. Um, and also can Forceful Sentry twice. Oh, wait, wait. What do you mean, Swordsman? This is the hand loop variant. Uh, I'm not going to play a great deck. But it is a fun one, yeah. Yeah, what do you mean you're not on the hand loop version? Look at this. Look at your opponent's hand. Shuffle one card. Yeah, you are on the hand loop version. What? Well, it's an option. It's an option. Um, yeah, that card's really good. All right. Um, one thing I will say is it's really nice to see a uh, flip in general get some more support. Um, yeah, a salad is whoa. What was that? <laughs> Salad is good to eat, so I... <laughs> All right. Uh, Merologic Aggregator. If this card exceeds summon, you can send one monster from your extra materials this card has to so those number of targets in the graveyard. Attach those targets to this card as material. This card sent to the graveyard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looks really good. All right, I missed some stuff in chat here. Uh, salad. <laughs> I'm guessing Minnie's talking about... Um, what's that fire archetype name? Everyone calls it Salad, but I always forget its name. And it's not Fire Kings. It's the Link deck. Salamangrate. I thought of it. Salamangrate. Aha! <laughs> also, look at this person's hand. Swordsman has one, two, three, four, five, six... Cards in hand, and one, two, three, uh, a few cards on the field. Damage Condenser, hmm, sure. I'm sure uh, Swordsman has Ash, but you know, we will play this card anyway. Let's discard that card, and I will summon the Almighty... Do 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 fire trooper. There we go. All right, and I'll activate fire trooper <laughs> in the damage step. All right, we did some damage, chat. We're winning. We are winning. That's right. All right. All right. Honestly, prediction princess. Yeah, I was a little too hard on it yesterday. This is looking like really good, and. The um, 
yeah, with the ability to flip face down and flip it back face up, can reset the good doggo for the special summon lock. Looking pretty good. And then all that needs to be done on my turn <laughs> is just, yeah, you just flip this back face down and then flip this up. Forceful Sentry. Doesn't Ghost Rick rely on, um, yeah, Ghost Rick's kind of, um, well, here's the one thing I will say, Minnie. Ghost Rick is good enough on its own that where it doesn't need, I mean, I guess you can try Prediction Princess with Ghost Rick. No one's stopping you. Um, but you know the Ghost Rick Link monster that can even be made with the face down Ghost Rick monster? That card alone, <laughs> and like Ghost Rick Shot and Alucard, you can like do a one card UFD with Ghost Rick if you know what you're doing. Um, Ghost Rick is good enough on its own to just. You don't need. I mean, if you want to try. Prediction Princess with Ghost Rick, I ain't going to stop you. But one thing I will say is if you know what you're doing with Ghost Rick and like Angel of Mischief, you don't need any other yes. Ghost Rick has a Link monster that basically helps them do whatever they want to do. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I will say. Um, and... You know, just look at Angel of Mischief and look at, um, I think it's called Ghost Rick Shot. Yeah, look at Ghost Rick Shot and, yeah, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> you know, if you have to for Ghost Rick, look up like a combo video guide and, you know, just have fun with it. So, all right. All right, flipping some boys face down. Pot of Forbidden's back face down. Hey, uh, hey, Minnie, I have a question. Do you think Prediction Princess will become so meta we see Knock back in the form? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, see, we see a return of Nobleman of Cross. <laughs> you know, just, just a random thought. You know, you guys got to remember, I played back when Magician of Faith was meta. And, you know, this is the reason we ran cards like Knock. You know, Nobleman of Cross Out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and because uh, there was this combo with Magician of Faith and Tsukiyomi that was very annoying. You know, where someone would, ha would loop Raigeki five times in a row. So, yeah, do you think we'll see the return of Nock? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, hey, good duel, Swordsman. Good duel. That, that was... Hey, that, that, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You know... I was a little too hard on Prediction Princess yesterday. And, you know, I, I retract my statements. It's not a bad deck. It's an okay deck. So, uh, I've been corrected. Um, all right. Uh, I think Minnie's next. Um, <laughs> let's just go with... Uh, don't I have a ninja deck? Now let's go with this deck. No, let's go with uh let's go with this deck, yeah. No, I can't really judge. I mean, um in all seriousness though, uh Swordsman put out a good uh prediction princess build there. And um yeah, it was steamrolling, man. It was steamrolling like really good. So um Yeah, you know. It's really strange, though. Um, I even said it yesterday, and I kind of stand by it. But my my uh, standards for, like, a ritual deck are, like, really high. You know, because, you know... I don't know. This is just me. And probably my opinion's wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I would rather play Demise... You know, the old school demise. Would I say it's a better better ritual monster than Prediction Princess? 
No, no. But it's just, I prefer the uh, <laughs> mini brick. Oh, uh-oh. But uh, I prefer, like, I don't know. There's a certain style I, pre I prefer for a ritual deck. And, you know, that's... It is what it is, so... Um, hmm. Mini went first. I've got to watch out for the evenly matched. I bricked as well. Huh. Well, did I brick? Not really. All right, Green Ninja, get out here. Let's see if Mini has gores. <laughs> uh, no, no, seriously, though, I do appreciate it, Swordsman, because, you know, bringing the Prediction Princess, because... My evaluation of the deck, do I get like gin locked or hand looped for five? I'm not really sure where I, um, my evaluation will continue. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. That duel was pretty impressive, but, um, yes, my evaluation shall continue on prediction princess. I feel like it's. Not bad, you know. I just said it was okay. I feel like it's not bad, you know. Basically, here's the problem, right, Mini? I need to see it up against... Um, oh, I don't know. If I had the cards for Branded, or if I had, like... Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? If I had, like, real cards in that... <laughs> like, in Perm and whatnot. Yeah, and just a bunch of negation flying around. Also... I need to see it going second, because that's the real test of that deck, I feel. If it can play good going second, then I will form new opinions. But uh, one thing at a time, man. Uh, what I did see, pretty good, yeah. All the cards in hand and stuff. So, wait, what? Chalice? Um, I guess Minnie's forcing me to do this. Maybe Minnie has another chalice? I don't know. But, um... Alright. Uh, let's fuse this. With this. Mm-hmm. Alright. You're on, Maizan. The Battle Ninja. Get out of here, buddy. Good to see your animation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. What's Mini up to here? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it's Salad. I see. <laughs> All right. Um, let's play this card. My Yuzan. And I will grab... Um... Uh, in the graveyard here, I will grab... Uh, this is never a bad pick. Shingetsu. There we go. Alright. So this is indeed salad. Spinny. Hmm. Alright, so there's Gazelle. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Gazelle's being special shokan. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh. Alright. Hmm. Milling with Gazelle. Minnie is going to send... Um card, a salad card, <clears throat> from the deck to the GY, it is a foxy, yeah, yeah, that's the normal play, alright, hmm, alright, foxy, do 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 Hmm. Alright. Bye, links. So. 
Inner Sanctuary. Um, hmm. Smart by many. So, of course, the normal play would be Summon Limit here, which I'll fire. But um, the great part about Foxy is, yeah, you ain't got to worry about Floodgates. Kind of. So, yep. Face up spills on the field. And get rid of a salad card. Not too bad. Sanctuary. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Face down card. Uh, that works, I guess. Yeah, battle phase, alright. Hmm, Doki. I will grab a Hanzo. Um, yep, Emmy. Hanzo, my dog. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, what Sanctuary does, by the way. Uh, if your monster battles... Oh. Ah, that's, uh... That's pretty darn good. Alright. Don't have another solid card. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, that just tells me this face down is Mirror Force. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's, uh, let's play Hanzo. Right, and with Hanzo, I will take uh, a card. Response by Mini. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's a pretty good card there, Mini. Um, hmm, I'm under summon limit. Um, let me think. Is there a ninja I want in the graveyard? Um, compared to my hand. Actually, yes, there is. Okay. All right, I'm done summoning for the turn mini. All right. And I will grab... <laughs> I will grab this ninja right here. Yep. Get in the graveyard, buddy. Senior Silver. Nice TT. I didn't see that coming, man. Uh, add to the hand. Let's grab. Hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> and possibly bamboozled. Yes, indeed I have. Um... Huh. I'm thinking we grab this. Field spell. Alright. All good. And then we grab this. Try to draw two. Dupe is the only card on field. Uh, not bad. Alright. Um, <laughs> hmm. This seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that meme is pretty sick. Alright, your turn, Mini. Not bad. I didn't see the TT coming at all. Alright. Well timed. Um mm -hmm. let's see here. Alright. Hmm. Okay, there goes Foxy. So Mini definitely got a salad. Uh, has to target a face up, right? I'm just making sure I don't, uh, I don't whiff here. Face up. All right. But do not do do. So there goes Summon Limit. Bye bye. Bye bye, beautiful darling. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. All right. Hmm. Can we survive the turn? Maybe. <clears throat> but -na -na -na. 
any time. You need to check the time for this. Do 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 do. Ooh, about that time. Do 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 do. This is an overlay. Mirage Stallio. Um, yeah, that's really good. Alright. That's pretty good. Mirage Stallio. Uh, target a monster. Return it to the hand. Hmm. Pretty good. I think the main one from the deck is usually, um, well, I see people play Gazelle a lot, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jack Jaguar. Um, that's also good. Yeah. You can recycle stuff that's in your graveyard. Yeah, uh, Salomon Great's like in a really interesting spot. Um, it's still pretty good. Um, you know, Will is just a hell of a card. You know, Will of the Salaman Great, I think it's what it's called. Um, thought so, thought so. Yeah, the problem is, is like, uh, for Salaman Great, I mean, because there is, there is always going to be a problem. Is Will searchable? I feel like with some of the new cards, maybe it is. But, um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think it is. It's like a continuous spell. Um... I guess there is left arm offering. But, uh... No, no, in general, like, Salomon Great can still do stuff. It's just, um... Hmm. Um, I guess, like, the, the branded stuff doesn't really matter, because for the most part, they take out lights and darks, so your grave should be, well, no, your grave's not safe these days. <laughs> like, that's the, that's actually the problem. That's where I was going, is, like, um, yeah, the salad cards are great, but, like, nobody's graveyard is safe these days. I mean, really. Um, shufflers are a thing. It's just like, yeah, man. Oh, okay. The, yeah, this gets the uh, wheel. Yeah, there you go. Um, you can add a Salomon Great Spell or Trap from your graveyard. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't say deck, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you know. Um, but yeah, Salomon Greats are... Yeah, generally, they're a good, you know, Cybers kind of Link Climb deck. And... <laughs> you know, they never... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Minnie's like, yeah, Rise Heart's existence. Yeah, that kind of is uh, an issue. Um, well, and just with how popular it is, I guess. Um, I mean, you're not going to run into Cash Tira everywhere, though. Maybe if you're plat or higher, you know, you always will. But uh, yeah, those will be like Dark Magician. Play. There's all kind of players on Master Duel. There's all kind of decks. Um I mean, this deck still has a place. Um, it's going to have a tough time against Cat. I mean, you can always run, like, Kaijus and whatnot. I mean, every deck does. But, um, yeah. Uh, it's just... It can be tough, man. It can be tough to just kind of, you know. Uh, I guess we'll play this. Um, let's do this. Part 4. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we're at a uh, we're at like really low plat at the at the moment. Um, hmm, what should I grab here? Uh, geez, what's good against salad? You know, I guess this card ain't bad. Let's just grab. Huh. Hmm. This. 
far. I think it is this card. Yep, let's grab this card. But yeah, Salad ain't bad. It's just, um... Hmm. And I wouldn't even say it's too slow these days, either. But, um... Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> I think I summoned in the zone. Uh... I did. I summoned in the zone at points, too. So, I helped out Mini there quite a bit when I didn't have to. But, um... Eh, all good. But, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I like Will, and, like, I'm pretty sure this came out with a structure deck, too. Um, you know, kind of like Black Wings and stuff. Well, this was, like, in an early structure deck. I'm sure there's, like, a handful of Ultras and Supers that, you know, aren't in the structure deck. But I'd probably say it's still one of the better structure decks around. At least top five. I mean... Yeah, at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Just because, like, um, <laughs> you know, how easily you can go from this deck to, like, an access code or something. <laughs> it's incredibly easy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd still say top five. And, like, this card is, like, the main, yeah, Heat Leo. Very good. So, um, yeah, it's just a good card. Nothing else to say. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, like, you see how quickly you get through the deck. I mean, there's already 11 cards in the graveyard. A lot of the cards, like, um... It, oh, the structure deck has Heat Soul. Okay, see, that's a good reason to buy it. Um, <laughs> you know, so there you go. Uh, also, like, a lot of these cards will, like, you know, send um, stuff to the graveyard. You know, the Foolish Burial stuff, so that's always a plus so you know yeah pretty good deck yeah all right that's pretty good right now all right so for my turn i will hmm what shall we do here well i think we'll field spell it doesn't have the other link one oh okay okay so yeah there is some stuff you got to just kind of craft out of there but uh let's summon crimson ninja hell yeah <laughs> all right and we will grab um Obari. hmm the all mirage isn't in this oh yeah that's kind of a problem i mean not really kind of <laughs> was that ghost build <laughs> um yeah i guess that works yeah thankfully ghost bell doesn't destroy it just kind of negates um let me think here all right mini you got me man you got me i'll just end my turn <laughs> ghost bell clutch yeah that's that's a good card I can't even be mad, man. That's what it's supposed to do. Ba da da na na da da na 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 na. Hmm. Well, let's see. I did give Vinny an extra monster, so this should be over here pretty quickly. Da da na 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 na. And the field spill's gone, which. I honestly. Foxy. Oh, right. I forgot about the secret effects. Uh, <laughs> sure, let's banish uh, Crimson Ninja, which is in my graveyard. Alright, there we go. Do, 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 And Spinny's back. Yeah, this deck has a lot of, uh, I think what you call, um, like, recursion, durability, stamina. <laughs> I'm not sure what the official term is, but, um, yeah, these plays can be made basically every turn. So, um, yeah, you basically gotta, OT you gotta put pressure on them and OTK them. Because if you don't clear them out, and, like, you leave Heat Leo on the board, uh, you're, you're just asking for it, man. 
you're asking to just get, you know, finished off, essentially. Um, yeah. So. Also, with, like, all the recursion, I think they're archets. No, they're not even archetype block. Yeah, recycling. That's the word, mini. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, uh, recycling, recursion, reuse. Yeah, it's just really good. And, like, I mean, this is basically what a modern deck does. If a modern deck doesn't even recycle, it's just kind of like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I guess in the case of ninjas, I mean, they don't recycle. But, you know, the main thing they're doing that you see around here is, yeah, they're just summoning from the deck straight up. And that's that's pretty good, too. So, you know. And, like, Kashira recycles, too. It's just they do it in such a weird way because it's from the banish pile. So, you know. All right, Transcode Talker to grab j j j j j j j jammer <laughs> Did I start doing the j j j jamming theme chat? j j jamming um, And then, yeah, you can just go into access code from there and attack twice and stuff, boost it. Uh, I guess you could go into a link five <laughs> if you wanted to. So, uh, yeah. Not too bad. Do, 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 do. All right. This is a uh, link for it is access code. All right, guys. He's here. All right. And access code can attack. How many times? Uh, can attack a dip a dip a dip a dip a dip can make a second attack. Ba 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 boosted. Yeah, j j j jamming. <laughs> He's doing the jam, the raspberry jam. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Jammer has to target a. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right, and that is a whole lot of damage. Uh, 10,600. My math's not wrong. Um, all right. Field spell into another Heat Leo. <laughs> that's, that's one of the funnest combos in salads, though, bro. It's like you just have Sanctuary and you're just like, you know, this link I've got out, I'd like to use it again. You know, you want to see me do that again? <laughs> you, you're just like, all right, I got a Sanctuary. You just use Heat Leo again, man. <laughs> it's just so hilarious, bro. Oh, man. What a time. Yeah, and this card used... I mean, Salad Man Greats, I mean, they used to be like... Bro, if you weren't running Salads at Locals, I mean... Salads converted everybody into a vegetarian, man. Because, <laughs> you know, if you weren't running Salads at Locals for a while, I mean, what were you doing? You were just kind of... You were struggling out here, man. You were losing. So, yeah, this deck has definitely had its time to shine. Um, yeah, it, it's just really weird. Like, because uh, I remember going to all those locals when Salomon Great was out. And it's just like, whoa, dude. It's so weird to see it, like, to think about cards like Salomon Great and realize, like, I mean, you hardly ever see them on ladder. It, it's really weird. You know what I mean, Manny? That's, like, one of the weirdest um, things. But, like, I mean, this deck can do stuff. I do love salads. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really... I don't know. It, it's And it's weird, Mini, because, like, I feel like if salads got um, one or two, like, new cards, or even, like, if they got a new Link 4, that, uh, you know, and this is going to sound weird, if they got a Link 4 that, like, protected the graveyard, which there's not really an effect in Yu-Gi-Oh! that says, oh, yeah, if you want to banish my stuff, you can't. Or if you want to seal off my graveyard, you can't. Um, But I feel like if they got a Link 4 that basically just said, okay, you can't touch my graveyard, kind of like Necro Valley, but not. Um, <laughs> it, it would just read, like, okay, your cards are sent to the graveyard no matter what. And that was literally the effect of the Link 4. Um, also, this effect can't be negated. You know, something like that. I feel like Salads would be in a really good spot. 
And of course, you know, just give it some good stats, you know, maybe targeting protection or something. You know, I feel like it'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not many people do that. Pyro Phoenix. Yeah. Um, I think this might be my last one, Manny. Uh, my nephews ought to be home soon, and I don't want to have to delete the VOD. Um, what would Mini play in our last duel here? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, because I've seen Mini play some decks, and I kind of know. Uh, well, I'm trying to think of what, what a good matchup would be. There's a card that states you cannot banish. Yeah, Imperial Iron Wall. I feel like they would need that on a on a retrained Link Four or something. Maybe even a Link Five. I mean, Salads could put out a Link Five, easy, easy, yeah, and just make it like a really okay. What deck would Mini play? Mini, I hmm, what would be a good matchup? Um, uh, let's play this. <laughs> All right, Mini. I am ready. Odd eyes. Oh, odd eyes. Oh. Yeah. 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 All right. But Mini's the type of duelist to say odd eyes, but they're really playing red eyes. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Mini. I'm on to you. You can't fool me with your hocus pocus magic nonsense. I don't believe in the Millennium items. No, I'm kidding. But, um, odd eyes it is. All right. I'm just running, uh, but, uh, good luck, Minnie. Last duel for me. Nephews ought to be here making punk. Um, yeah, I've thought about the same, Minnie. Uh, you know, I just, um, there is one thing hold. Yeah, it, it does seem fun. The only thing holding me back from punk is the amount of material. Um... That's really the only... Other than that? <laughs> Other than that? Um, I think I'd be straight, you know. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Alright, Mini. Good luck. Let's see here. Odd eyes. So here we go. Hmm. Wada? Wada, wada, wada. Man. Yeah, I think after stream here, I'm going to take a nice little walk. It's actually really, pretty sure I said earlier, but it's really windy today. Um, One thing I can talk about, stuff I've got for YouTube. So, as I'm sure you guys know, um... Yeah, uh, Tim's on. Um, yeah, Tim's on vacation, so YouTube stuff's gonna be a little slow. But all that being said, um, I think I might have time today to put up some uh, Pokemon Platinum. So I would look forward to that. Um, also, as far as future streams. Uh, yeah, it is spooky month, so tomorrow night, uh, I should probably fire this right now. Yeah, so tomorrow night, we're going to be playing, uh, yeah, Pokemon <laughs> Nightmare Invasion. Uh, yeah, we actually started, um, like, part one. It's a, it's a, like, a RPG, uh, horror maker game. Uh, kind of unheard of. Um, yeah, it's basically just some spooky t stuff goes down in that, and, um, we're gonna have some fun with that, so uh, maybe I'll even put it on the schedule. Ooh, Zhang K Magician, huh? That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow's stream. Uh, not if we do play Yu Gi Oh! Um, I'm going to play <laughs> Duelist of the Roses, right? And we're gonna do more pumpkin, you know, more, you know, pumpkin, spooky October. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue on the pumpkin. Uh, stream and yeah just have some fun with that little spooky friday um there is another horror game 
I've looked into that's uh, pretty uh, fun that I don't want to spoil. Uh, but we may be stream some more of that. So, uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, we're taking a little Yu-Gi-Oh break tomorrow on stream. And, and the only reason I'm saying is I'm obviously going to post this VOD after, <laughs> you know, I'll post. Yeah, that, that's what will be on YouTube today. Possibly Pokemon Platinum in this VOD here. So, yeah, if you like spooky games, come over and join us. Electromite, I would suppose. Yep. And, yeah, should be fun. Um, I know not everyone's a fan of spooky games, but I am. So, you know. And it just kind of gets you into the Halloween mood. You know what I mean, Minnie? So, yeah, should be fun. Um, by the way, Halloween, you know, what am I going to go as? Well, <laughs> pretty obvious. You know, I'm going to go as <laughs> my favorite duelist, Seto freaking Kaiba. <laughs> you know, and I'm just going to bust out a bunch of abridged quotes like, I don't like being touched by people who don't have money. Now get your hands off me, Wheeler. You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. You know, yeah, it'll be fun. Like, all I have to do for Halloween is wear the Seto Kaiba hoodie. And, then, <laughs> you know, everyone just kind of knows, like, okay, you know, maybe I grab a handful of cards. And, yeah, really fun. The fun, it's, it's the one night a year where nobody knocks you for cosplaying. And, um... Yeah, it'd just be fun. So, um, I probably should stream on Halloween, <laughs> but I'm literally gonna walk the neighborhood and just kind of get a bunch of candy, man. You know, that's what I like to do. So, yeah. So, and quite frankly, <laughs> I encourage you all to do the same. I mean, people out here handing handing out free stuff. It's just like, hey, man, go get it. Go get it. So, all right. Um. By the way, Minnie's been comboing here using like Astrograph Sorcerer and uh, Link Summoning. Uh, Chaos Angel. Yeah. Pretty good. Like uh, Minnie, I might say this is your monster of fate. Your uh, Ka. <laughs> I've seen this in quite a lot of your decks. Um. I can't blame you, dog. This is a good card. I, if I had it myself, I'd probably run it. All right. House Angel. I wonder if this card was in the anime. It probably was. But, um... Down to 200. All right. Let's see if Minnie has sparks. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine needing a tuner for a synchro. I know, right? Miss... Miss MVP Cringe. It's just in two decks. Okay. I'll take your word for it, Minnie. Um, what can we do here? Hmm. This is my Pendulum Magician. Oh, okay. I believe you, Minnie. Um do 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 Let's see what I can do here. I'm thinking. And I've reached a conclusion. <laughs> what we can do here is quite simple. So I'm going to um, play the magic card, Thunderbolt. Uh, that makes sense, Minnie. That makes sense. Um, all right. Next. Yep. Pendulum Dragon for the rescue. Do 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 do. Boy, uh, this extra deck acts for Minnie. Ooh, Auto Ice Phantom Dragon. I love this card. <laughs> Look at the design, man. That card's awesome. Um, I will play Phantom. I will play um, this card. 
I will play this card. And I will play this card. And... I'm dead. Alright. But, uh, yeah. Welcome to the stream, Miss MVP. Uh, you've caught us at the tail end here. This is going to be the last duel for me. Um, got a little bit of stuff to work on after this one. Um, but, yeah, glad to have you here. Um, and, yeah, just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. This is Yuya's Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Oh, this one? Ooh. You know, it makes sense. You know, the, the, the design of this one... It looks a little different. <laughs> it's so funny, too, with, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! art styles. You can tell what's, like, TCG exclusive and manga exclusive. It's just the art styles are really different. Um, Joker is uh, clutch here, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is basically the Stratos. Or is he standing or, like, a deer? Um, wait, this card? Oh, this card? No, he's um, basically Phantom Dragon. He's in the middle of flying. I believe this is the scene from the manga. Is he's in the middle of flying over and using like an Omega Blast attack. Um, or like, it's almost like a scene from the manga. Like he flies up and then he flies in. So, yeah, because you can tell from the rubble back here that he like just avoided an attack. And he's flying up and in, so... All right, that is uh, Clear Wing. Man, that animation's sick. Um, yeah, really good card. All right, I don't think Minnie has uh, Pendulum summoned yet. So, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. There is Phantom Beck and Celestial Magician. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked this card. It has like a lot, a plethora of effects. Um, but yeah, to basically tie into every uh, summoning mechanic, fusion, synchro, yeah, card does it all, man. Really good. Oh. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. All right, the Zark Magician, yeah. Uh, sure, let's use this. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, except lower my stats, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good game there, Mini. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you being here for the stream today. Definitely, like, and, like, Mini was holding class earlier today to teach me cash, so, like, and, like, I, I did not know about the Big Bang combo with Cash Chira, so, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, we will try to make some changes. I want Zark in my Pendulum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I have Zark? Hang on. I think I have something to show you, Manny. Hang on. Uh, no, no. Do, 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 do. Oh, would you look at that? Look what we have <laughs> Look what we have here. <laughs> um, cause I run it and no problem. Yeah. So, um, somehow we were lucky enough to pull this and this, um, yeah, I've just kind of been waiting for the opportunity. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting for the opportunity to do stuff. Uh, yeah, this card, I hear this card's pretty good, you know, I, I hear it's, um, you know, it's all right, you know, I hear this card's pretty, uh, you know, I, I've just kind of been waiting for the opportunity to, uh, just get, <laughs> um, yeah, 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 Soul of the Supreme King, yeah, Rage of the Supreme King, yeah, I hear these cards are, you know, Pretty good, you know. I, I'm just, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry, Minnie. I won't dust it. Uh, the royal one, the royal. I, I might, I might dust this. One. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. I hear these cards are pretty good. 
uh, you know, maybe I should do something with those one stream, you know, by the, uh, I like using Mega Zaborg. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that is really fun. Yeah. Maybe a uh, one stream, uh, you know, mini can teach me how to play odd eyes and I'll just like buy the structure deck and, um, we'll just throw in Zark because we can, that would be a fun stream. Um, maybe I would definitely have to save up gems, but, um, all right. I think Iga might be streaming. If so, we're definitely going to raid Iga. Let me refresh my... Uh... Uh, if not, I'll look for somebody for us to raid. But uh, yeah, love you guys. Thank you for being here. Getting us to uh, 50 followers. That's a good benchmark. And we just want to keep on going. So let's look at my list here. Iga is streaming. Okay, guys. <laughs> We're going to raid Iga here. Yeah, I'd love to. But there's more to... That, that is true. That is true. But um, what's nice is, though, many could tell me the good cards to craft and the not-so-good Odd Eyes cards to not craft. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just buy it and learn it on my own. That could be also very interesting. Watch me struggle and just kind of make a bunch of fail plays. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the fun of the game so uh, uh but yeah you guys go say hi to Iga she's awesome as you guys know she's my mod and um uh, he's just awesome uh she's playing what's she playing uh looks like Fortnite but uh yeah bye guys thanks for being here see you next time alright do 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 nice alright do, 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 do. All right. I need to hit in stream here.